Welcome to Field Sports Britain Extra, the other half of the programme that has Dominic Holtam, as you can see in the sky beside me, swanning up and down the country in a Ferrari looking for deer, grouse and salmon. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click on that and you can go and see what he's up to. Well, in this skeleton version of Field Sports Britain coming up, we have hunting YouTube. But first, it's David on the Field Sports Channel News Stump. This is Field Sports Britain News. The Countryside Alliance is celebrating November with Game to Eat Month. Its campaign is encouraging pubs, restaurants and local butchers to use local game with a set of Game to Eat recipe booklets which feature game recipes from top chefs. Some 60 restaurants are taking part with an estimated foodie audience of more than 150,000 covers in November. Meanwhile, November is also Vegan Month and this year animal rights loony organisation Animal Aid is challenging people from all over the UK to go vegan for the whole 30 days. So far the Great Vegan Challenge 2012 has attracted just 400 people. We'll be covering a Game to Eat event in next week's show. We won't be bothering with the Great Vegan Challenge. Shoots are tightening their belts and are looking at ways of increasing profitability. That's the conclusion of research by Rural Surveyor, Smith Gore and GunsOnPegs.com. They've discovered that shoots have been cutting back while increasing charges per bird. Smith's Gore and Guns on Peg surveyed 152 shoots, reflecting 2,700 day shooting and 1.2 million pheasants and partridges released. Nobody is getting a straight answer from WH Smith. The national news agents chain banned the sale of shooting magazines to under 14s with a till prompt to check the age of its customers. However, Basque is receiving reports from people visiting the stores that till prompts have been dropped. Basque is seeking clarification, and until it's been received, the organisation is urging people to visit WH Smith stores to find out more and report back. Pick up a copy of this month's Sporting Shooter to see the article version of the Ferrari McNabb. Americans might be charging out to buy guns now that Obama's back in, but last week they were reeling from Hurricane Sandy. American wildlife is used to superstorms. However, here is one from last year that produced this event in Washington state. Salmon are crossing a flooded road, which provides an ideal but unusual retrieving opportunity. Staying with fish and from the ridiculous to the sublime. A boat out of Cairns, Australia has caught what skipper Captain Danny reckons is the biggest black marlin ever to be satellite tagged on Opal Ridge on the Great Barrier Reef. It weighs around 1,200 pounds. And finally, this other example of extreme fishing comes from Robson Green's TV series, Extreme Fishing. You are now up to date with Field Sports Britain News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts. Thank you, David. Now let's expand your horizons a little. It's hunting YouTube. This is Hunting YouTube, which aims to show the best hunting, shooting and fishing videos that YouTube has to offer. La Combar's black bear hunting video in Canada makes you jump. Unusually, the camera is next to the animal, so it's a shock when the shot goes off. It's another gripping video by Leatherwood Outdoors 2012 youth crossbow deer hunt buck kill shows Charles Boozer taking his nephew Corbin out to try and kill his first ever white-tailed deer with a crossbow in Clarion County, Pennsylvania. As as the kid Corbin says, I think I smoked him. Yeehaw. Wandering Gibbon censors his film Hunting and Gathering in the Modern Age. It shows him walking down pathways, picking and eating stuff from the hedgerow, including pigeons. Maybe it's an anthem for modern consumerism. Maybe Wandering Gibbon is sectionable. You decide. We are indebted to Jonathan Thomason of UK Tackle Genius Sportfish for this film. Uncharted Waters Bassus to India official trailer shows a group of six friends who land their 46 foot catamaran on a remote underwater volcano in the heart of the Mozambique Channel that has 150 shipwrecks, countless pieces of treasure and Jurassic sized fish. Armed with every fly and lure that ever stripped or glinted it might be a trailer but it is Raiders of the Lost Rod. So what would you do with all those fish? Step forward Scott Ray from Jolly Old Britain whose cookery channel posts the ultimate hot mackerel sandwich. How to cook a hot mackerel sandwich with lettuce and tartar sauce. 
fresh tasting, he promises. A viewer called Simon sends us this video of long-range magpie control. The first magpie is 430 yards, and Simon explains how, through good maths, he can adjust the scope so he can shoot it with a 1.7 HMR. Good shooting. Now it's over to Ireland for vermin control, shooting crows and pigeons, which shows highlights from a day decoying. Finally, a good idea sent in by a German viewer, Benedict Bucher. Sponsored by the German shooting equipment shop Kettner, the film shows a fox or badger trap which uses a mouse trap as a trigger. The animal just has to pull on the bait that is attached to the mouse trap by a string, and the really clever bit, when the trap is sprung, it sends a text message to your mobile phone. As Benedict says, when it comes to trapping foxes, we have some more interesting trap designs here in Germany. OK, Benedict, don't get cocky. You can click on any of these films to watch them. If you have a YouTube film you would like us to pop into the weekly top eight, send it in via YouTube or email me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. Well, if you enjoy shooting, you'll love The Shooting Show. This week the program follows sporting rifle contributor and stalking guide Andy Malcolm as he tries to find a young client, a stag, in Scotland. The estate they're stalking on has a selective cull policy, however, and with rough weather and a tight deadline, Andy is aware that he might end the day empty-handed. Then Sporting Rifles Baron Pace heads back to the glens to deal with a roe deer that is causing a farmer some problems. Baron also reviews the Apex Predator from Napier of London. If you are watching this on YouTube, click on the link to watch the programme. Well, we are back next week, and if you're watching this on YouTube, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe panel that's appearing on the screen about there. Or if you want to watch just this show, Field Sports Britain, you can go to our shows page, www.youtube.com slash show slash Field Sports Britain, and that link is on this panel in the middle. Or if you want to watch the greater part of this week's show, which is the Ferrari McNabb, where Dom Holtham gets a swan off around the countryside having a lovely time, I'm not jealous, then click on this panel down here. This has been Field Sports Britain Extra from Brooms.